Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? Yeah, it's about like 25 minutes, I'd say. Uh, uh, I just slapped you. Are you alright? What? So you like to fight. You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. This ain't the holiday in, pal. I am, I'm moving. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need that. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Come on, bro. Come on, my kid. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton, big fan, man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Tell me about this bouncer. Yeah, it's all nice, like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then he'll haul off. Hello, my name is Michael Morley, and I am here to review Roadhouse. Directed by Doug Lyman and starring Jake Gyllenhaal as Edward Dalton. This is the reboot to the 1989 classic Roadhouse, which starred Patrick Swayze. This one, Jake Gyllenhaal plays a UFC fighter who gets asked by an owner of a roadhouse to take the job because the place has been destroyed by patrons and customers who go in just to start bar fights and destroy the place. He's basically in there to look after the roadhouse and make sure it doesn't get destroyed. This is like such a different version to the original. Like I was kind of sitting there like, this is exactly like the original. I am going to not be happy, but it is definitely a more obviously a 2024 update on roadhouse. It's its own thing. It's in a completely different location. And it's like what it sort of like in a tropical area and it's just fun fun just like the original was it's dumb fun it doesn't take itself too seriously jake gyllenhaal plays a very fun role you can just tell he's having fun with this this is something like he usually is the guy that does all these serious roles and for a change he's he's having a little bit of fun i'll tell you he's ripped man he 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 went working he, he lifted some weights i gotta say he does he there's some really cool fight sequences in this i was like whoa the knife action the gun action, he, the way he diffuses the gun and dodges the knife or dodges a stake or gets stabbed by a stake. There are some things here and there I, I have to nitpick, like there are bits where you can tell it's a stunt man that's getting punched in the face and they're using deep fake of Jake Gyllenhaal and using a deep fake on that face and it's really this, you can just tell that it's a deep fake, not really Jake Gyllenhaal's actual face getting punched in the face multiple times. Other than that, it's just a lot of fun. I'm very nitpicky. I can spot deep fake. I'm very, I, I just noticed these things, man. There's so many fun things. Like I didn't know where it was going, but it goes into a different direction. And this is what a reboot should be, guys. This is how a reboot should be. It does its own flavor and doesn't try to copy or even try to outdo the original. It just tries to be its own thing. I'd have to watch this again, but I can tell you it's not like a masterpiece. It's not even like I would say great, but it's just fun. This is just dumb fun. If anyone says, oh, that movie, you know, was so unrealistic and the fight scenes were just all, oh, you know, all bullshit, you know, blah, blah, you know. It's just, it's not something to take seriously, mate. And also, why was this not released in the feuders? This movie should have went to the feuders. This is the movie that you eat popcorn to, man. Sitting at home and watching this, I mean, it was, it's a different experience going to the movies to watch this and this should have been released at the cinemas. I don't know why, why it went straight to Amazon Prime. I know, I get it, it's an Amazon Prime original, but this should have went to the cinemas, man. But why does, I, I just hope that down the track we continue having more theatrical movies being released at the cinemas and not every new thing going to streaming. This movie should have been, should have went to the cinemas. But other than that, there are some really fun side characters. There are some really good fight sequences. I had a good time. Seven out of 10. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things done around here. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smashing. 
I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. I get the impression that you can't be threatened. Once Nox is on the job, it's over, baby. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Is that one a friend of yours? No, I just broke his arm.